The first site we're going to address is we're going to look at the pectoral. So I am going to take a measurement from the anterior aspect of his axillary to the nipple line. I'm going to take my tape, I'm going to pull it taut, I'm going to put the end of the tape in the anterior aspect of his axillary, and I'm going to pull it all the way across his nipple line. The measurement we get is six and three quarter inches, and we'll want to take the midpoint from there. Our measurement is 6.75. Half of 6.75 is 3 and 3 eighths, or 3.375. So on the tape, I'm looking for the 3 eighths mark. I'm going to use my two fingers to keep that tape taut so that I can get an accurate reading. I'm going to find the 3 eighths mark. So these are all in sixteenths. So I'm going to count every two. There's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths. I'm going to mark that line. First, we're going to start with our client. We're going to do a pectoral pinch. So, the first thing I need to do is I need to find my mark. I know where my mark's at. I'm going to pinch him very aggressively because my job is to try to pull the fat from the muscle. You can see a nice crest is developed. This line is going to be the midpoint of where my calipers go on a diagonal. When pinching, it's important that you don't come out away from the skin or go in too deep. Some individuals, their skin may be a little more oily, so you might see that your grip will start to pinch away. So you have to really be aggressive with your hands. You could potentially use both hands to take a deeper pinch, which is going to be pretty painful. If you look at his face, you'll see. Okay, but again, we're looking for accuracy. So now that we have the pinch, we're going to put the calipers midway between. And we're going to hold for a count of two seconds, 1,001, 1,002. We're then going to record our measurement as 13 millimeters. We'll push the button down so that we don't pinch them even more. And we're going to relax and come back to that after our six other sites. 